If you are looking forward to a custom room, that brings something so exciting, which by the way, right now it's not available for the many of the devices actually. And I'm talking about Spark OS. Unfortunately, it's not present for many of the devices which are released maybe previous year, maybe this year, because it's been a long time since the last update of this custom room. Even I'm using the version Android 13 and right now Android 16 is almost here. So yes, it's been some time. But the good thing is, if a device is old and you can install Spark OS, then go and try it out. Even in 2025, it brings you something so exciting. I will talk about everything in this video, so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Taking a look at the default launcher, as expectedly similar launcher, which is available with many other custom rooms too. But some of the features, for example, gestures, chic gestures. The first one is for torch, second one for play, pause music, and also have the option for volume panel. So these three shake gestures are available in this case in the default launcher and also have the option for shake phone to clear all the recent app. The recent panel UI is also looking good. It's not unique, but it's at least good quite good design and many more things. Moving on to the battery section, you will find the new UI, the battery graph. This is also not a new thing. I mean, this is not a unique thing. This is not like something is not available in any other customer, but it's looking good. It is actually quite good. It's not a feature. It's not a customization thing, but it's here. So just wanted to let you know. One of the things which I loved about this one is the custom fonts. So for example, you're not satisfied with the default fonts, click on custom font and you can choose your own custom fonts here. That is one of the most exciting things available in this case. Also, as expectedly, if you move on to quick settings customizations, you'll be able to use Android 11 style quick settings panel and also the UI is so good. You can customize it. I mean, you can use some custom icon packs here, the brightness slider, which you can customize and even have the data usage panel available. Normal data usage option is already there, but you can also enable advanced enhanced data usage options and also the header images, the quick setting header images. If you enable them, the quick settings panel will look more great and it has approximately more than 70 plus header images. So that's a very good thing. Quick settings UI, I mean, you have the option to customize to make it look like Android 11 or the default one. So it's totally up to you. Data usage, which I was talking about, normal option is also there, but alternative data usage panel is also there. Clear all notification button is also here available, which you can customize even further customize. Clear, clear all notification button having is also a good thing, but also have the option to customize it further. That's a very good thing too. If you move on to the theming options, more theming options, you will find that you can even customize the setting styles. You have the option to choose from Oxygen OS, Arcane and many more other options are there too. Even customize the search bar style and even customize the settings con contextual messages and many more things. So this is a very good thing in the terms of customization. We have a lot of things available in this custom room. Including all the theming options, we also have some tweaks related to lock screen. So for example, if you move on to lock screen clock styles and also have the lock screen user switcher, you can simply switch between multiple users directly from the lock screen and have the option to customize the clock styles. Although it is not having the custom clock styles, which you are like, I mean, iOS style lock screen and OnePlus style, those things are not there, though widgets are not present, but fonts in a different way, it's a very good thing too. Everything else is just similar in this lock screen customizations. If you move on to the status bar options, you will find nothing new in this case. Similar options, similar customizations and similar features are available here. Although the battery section has the option to enable the iOS 16 style battery indicator, which I'm using right now. If you move on to the gestures option, double tap to sleep on the lock screen and else everything is just similar. Nothing unique in this case too, I like pixel animation and so on. If you move on to system manager, it has the option to choose from performance mode or anything else. This could be quite exciting and this could be device specific. So not going to talk about much, but this thing is so useful named as Google services. So you can simply disable the Google play services in case you are not satisfied with that, or maybe the battery drainage or anything. And you can enable it again after some time. If you want to enable it, that's a very useful thing. Another thing is related to parallel space. So you can create multiple clones of any particular app. Like we have cloned apps feature already available with many Android custom rooms available, but that you can create only one instance. But in this case, you can create up to five instances of any particular Android app. Including that, if you move on to miscellaneous options, you will find unlimited photo storage, higher FPS in games, similar options. 
Some of the features, if we, if are, if actually you're wondering about, are available with under 14 base or 15 base custom rooms are not present within this case, which is obvious. But another exciting thing available here in this case is the power menu customization. This is not present with many other new Android custom rooms too. For example, we have approximately five styles of power menu available in this case. You can switch between Android 7 style, Android, Android 7, Android 8, Android 11 or Android 12. That is super amazing looking. So these are the things available in this case. If you want to try out SparkOS on a device, as I just told you at the starting of the video, it's available for few of the devices only because some of the devices if are old then this might be available for you new devices might not that might not get this thing this is it thanks for watching links for some of the devices is already there in the description thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one